Okay, we're first going to go over how to find um, the area of a parallelogram. So, if we want to find the area of a parallelogram, um, there's a couple things that we have to know. We have to know that um, there is a base, and the base could be um, right here or here. Okay, it's the bottom two that um, the parallelogram sits on. And then the other thing that you have to notice is the height. And the height is always indicated um, by a dashed line. Okay, you'll always see the height indicated by a dashed line. So let's just kind of take a look at how the area of a parallelogram is developed. Okay, so if you remember in class, what we did was um, you cut out this triangle right here. Okay, you found the height and you cut it out. So you cut out the height. And then what you did is you slid it over and you rotated it to make it a rectangle, okay? And if we remember, um, the area of a rectangle is, all you have to do is you have to take the length times the width or the base times the height right here, which is actually the exact same formula of a parallelogram is the base times the height. Okay, so that is um, the area of a parallelogram. You just take the base times the height and you make sure that you square your units because all area is squared. Okay, so again, area equals base times height. Okay, now we're going to talk a little bit about the area of a triangle. And the area of a triangle is just a little bit different, but you'll notice some of the same characteristics as in parallelograms. You see that the triangles have this base, okay, and the base is always going to be um, where the height, okay, where this height comes down and it creates the middle point of the base. Once again, the height, H, is always indicated by a dashed line, and then the base is at the bottom. These two points right here, these are the legs of the triangle. And not until our geometry unit will we get more into that, but these are not bases. The base is the bottom of your triangle where the height comes down at that point right there. Okay, so that's how you can always find where your base is. So if you remember in class, we took our triangle and we cut it in half so that we have two parts, and then I asked you guys to cut that off. Okay, so you cut off this point right here, so that you divided the triangle in half. Sorry. Okay, once again, we took that top part off, and we rotated it. Continue to rotate it until it formed. <laughs> A parallelogram okay and once again we represented the height of this parallelogram by doing what well we have the triangle and we cut it in half okay, we cut the triangle in half so that's how we would represent the height of this parallelogram So we divided the height in two, so therefore the area of a triangle, okay, we represent the height, I don't know why it's not going to the side that I want, yes, we divided the height by in half, okay, this is where I want, sorry about that, so the area of a triangle would be represented by taking one half the height times the base. 
So what you would do in this situation, whenever you have a triangle, you want to multiply your height times your base, and then you want to just divide it by 2. So another way that you could write that would be area equals um, base times your height, and then you want to divide that by 2. Or you could take area equals, um, you could take your base times your height and multiply it by one half. Either way, either method you choose, you're still going to get the same area. And once again, area is in squared units. So the area of a triangle, we just kind of showed you how to derive it. You just take half of it and then multiply that by the height times the base.